Hello guys, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our prior tutorial, scripting two ways to kill players, a viewer stated, I've been trying to teleport from one place to another place. I've tried a few scripts and methods, but nothing has worked. Could you please tell me how to do that or give me the link to a video where you show how to script? Well my friend, today's video we're going to show you how to teleport a player from one location to another location inside a Roblox game. Here we are inside studio. In my workspace I have a spawn location. I have a teleport to location. I have a wall and I have a red block. My spawn location and my teleport to location are invisible. If you want to learn how to make things invisible, we do have a tutorial for that. When a player joins the game, the player is going to be on this side of the wall. And after 15 seconds, the player is going to be teleported to the other side of the wall. Specifically, the player is going to be teleported to the teleport to location, which is on top of the red block. I just want to point out my teleport to location is just a regular block. And also just make sure all your parts in your workspace are anchored. Let's now go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. In your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, we have the player added event. So whenever a player is added to the game, this function here is going to be triggered. Inside the function, we have a character added event. So whenever a character is spawned into the game, this function here is going to be triggered. Inside our function, we're going to wait for 15 seconds before we teleport the character to the other side. To teleport the character, I'm going to say character, which is the character that is being spawned into the game. So character, colon, pivot to is the function that we learned in our previous prior tutorial. This function is going to change the location of the model. In this case the model is our character. So here we just have to specify a new location for our model. The new location that we want is in the workspace. It is the teleport to location. I'm gonna say game dot workspace dot teleport to location dot C frame. That's going to give me the C-frame of this part right here. And I don't want to teleport right where that part is, but I want to teleport a, a, a bit above it. So I'm going to add an offset here. I'm going to add a vector 3 dot new. And it's just going to be 0, 5, 0. So it's going to teleport my character 5 units above where the location of this uh, teleport to location pad is. Let me remove the extra line here and let's play and take a look. You can see right now I'm in the waiting area and there's a wall between me and the other side so there's no way for me to get to the other side until after 15 seconds I get teleported to the top of this cube. So to teleport a player, that's all you have to do. Just use pivot to and you're all done. I'm going to show you another way to do it though. Instead of pivot to, you can use set primary part C frame. Let's play and take a look and I will explain. So remember, we also learned about pivot to and set primary part C frame in our prior tutorials. And here again, I'm on the other side, the waiting side and give it 15 seconds but uh, it's gonna be much faster than that because it took already so many seconds to load and now I'm on top of the cube now if I go to my workspace and I click on my character here go to the properties window you are going to see that the primary part of my character my character is a model so my model has a primary part which is the humanoid root part right so if you if you expand my character here, you're going to see 
humanoid root part. And as we have learned in our prior tutorials that when you move your primary part, the whole model, every part inside the model moves with it. And that's why when we use set primary part C frame to move our primary part model, it moves the whole character with it. All right, everyone, that's our lesson for today on how to teleport a player or a character. Thank you all again for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.